Hi, welcome to Electro Study YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to tell you about multimedia communication. So it is a seven semester subject and the subject code is uh, 18EC743. It comes under uh, VTU. So here I'm going to tell you what is, in this video, I'm going to tell you what is multimedia communication and uh, what are the five modules that I'm going to discuss in this series. So first, so the name itself tells it is a multimedia. So multimedia means it is multi is nothing but many and the media is nothing but a medium of communication. And uh, here in the multimedia, you have uh, it will the applications related to multimedia or many, like you can send your nowadays you are sending an audio file or a text file or a video file or pictures, everything are integrated. And then we are sending through uh, the WhatsApp and or it may be a Facebook or a Gmail or anything. So we are sending a integrated the media. It's nothing but we are sending many uh, forms here. It might be a single media or it might be a many media. So first of all, we should know what is media. So there are four types of media types are there. One is a text and image or picture, audio and video. So here, the, these are the four important things uh, in the multimedia. Uh, we are able to transmit a text or it might be we can able to transfer an e pictures or images through WhatsApp. And it might be an audio file or it might be a video file or the combination of these four. So here we can send either in a single medium is nothing but text only, or it might be a many media or the combination of these four. This is nothing but a multimedia communication is nothing but transfer of information from a source to a sender. And next we'll see what we are going to discuss in the coming sessions. So the topics are, so this subject is uh, divided into five modules. Uh, in the module one, we'll be discussing about a multimedia networks and its applications. So here, um, as I told you before, the media types are for text, image, audio, and video. How these are communicating from source to the destination uh, and through which networks we are using and what are the networks we are using here and what is its applications you are going to study in the module one. And in the module two, this is uh, multimedia information representation. Uh, how a image file is represented. So media information, information is nothing but uh, it might be a text, a video or audio, or it might be a picture, how it is represented. Um, multimedia information, how it is represented that we are going to study in the module two. In the module three, we are going to study image and text compression. See here, media types of four, which is divided into uh, uh, like text, image, audio, and video. So we need to, while uh, uh, transferring or while communicating through a communication channel, so you need to reduce the size of a file, right? It might be a text file or audio file, video file, or image of picture. So if we wanted to reduce that, we use a compression technique. Here, we are using in the module three, we are going to study image and text compression. So what is the need of compression? It is reducing the size of your file from higher bitrate. So we can able to transfer that multimedia file in a communication channel. So that is the need of compression. So if you take, uh, so for example, if you take here, image and the text um, uh, compression. So while we are uh, transferring one particular video file in the WhatsApp, it can't send uh, a particular limit will be there. Or otherwise we need to reduce the quality of an image or picture so that it can send through the WhatsApp. So there will be uh, some limits for transferring from one 
uh, send it to the receiver. So we need to compress that particular file and set send. And next thing we are going to study about DMS distributed uh, management system. So here how a resources are um, arranged, how it is resources are allocated uh, in a network that you are going to study in this. So here these two media types are compressed in the module four, we are going to uh, compress audio as well as video. This both we are compressing here. This is the fourth uh, module and the last is the multimedia information networks. So as I told you, this in networks is nothing but for uh, transfer communicating from uh, how it is the way it will tell. So there are type, well, so many types of uh, networks are there. It might be a LAN or it might be through the uh, routers, gateways. So what are the uh, types to transfer a multimedia information? Multimedia information, we use this multimedia networks that we are going to see in the module five. This is about the overall uh, that I'm going to discuss in the multimedia communication. And here, this is, as I told you, as an application, multimedia applications means it is divided into four media types, text, image, audio, and video. So text means it might be an unformatted text or it might be a formatted text. Whereas this images, nothing but pictures that is generated through the computer or it might be the digitized computers or pictures. So it might be in terms of computer, so it might be a line curve, everything. Computer generated means where you have in a um, image, we have circles, lines, so all these things. And the pictures, as we know that we have uh, uh, pixels. So we are representing an images in terms of pixels, whereas the text in the form of formatted text or unformatted text, this is all of in the means it is all represented in the form of digital form, nothing but ones and zeros. In the pixels, we are going to, uh, whereas the image can be represented in terms of pixels, text, it might be in the form of ASCII code or code word will be there. So that you have uh, studied in the um, uh, information and coding theory subject, code word, what is code word? So to represent a text, message or information we are using the code word there that is represented in the digital form so and this is one part and the other one is the audio and video this all represented in analog form so as we know that analog is a speech signal which is a continuous signal so we are representing an audio file in terms of analog whereas the video file also in terms of analog so this both are digital and this both are analog. And next, if you wanted to compress, so we need, as I told you, to communicate through the networks, we need to compress a file. It might be a text or image. So here there, we are compressing the text and image, whereas here we are compressing the audio and video and all are integrated together and we are sending through a communication channel. So this is about a basic uh, concept of multimedia communications, what we are going to study in the uh, next video, coming, uh, coming up videos. So next I'm going to uh, tell you about a first module that as I told you, multimedia networks and its applications. So we'll see what are the networks is there and also its applications. So thank you so much. Please subscribe, like and share and comment to my channel. Thank you so much.